and we welcome you back live to our set here on Media Day 2022. Brian Tripp joined now by Joey Porter Jr. Parker was just talking about how you guys on the defensive side make the offense better. How does the offense make the defense better every time you're out there during camp? Um, you know, Sean's been there for a while, so he's seen it all. So he could make checks, different things like that. Um, Parker Washington, Tinsley, Dre, Mega, Trey, like they're all good wide receivers that um, we go against on a daily basis. So when we step on the line against them, we can't take them as no slouches. So it's iron sharp and iron, really. Yeah, how competitive is it? One of the core principles, core values of the program is to compete. So how competitive is it every day you're out there on the field or even maybe just in the weight room? Um, it's competitive everywhere. You know, I'm a really competitive person, so we just try to push that narrative every time we step on the field just to be dominant and see who's really better. So we push that on the wide receivers, and they push that on us. Where's that competitiveness come from, Dad? Yeah, my dad, a little bit of my mom, too. She's really competitive. We compete on everything we do, so my whole house is really competitive. Tell me some stories about being competitive growing up. Is there like a board game where things got out of control? I don't know. Monopoly, Uno, don't bring any of those games to us. Dominoes, anything, spades. We're, we're going to compete. We're going to win. We're going to shout. So um, we just have we just have good time with my family. You know, it just the whole house. If there was some downtime, what is the game that was played in the Porter House? The game that was played in the Porter House was probably Monopoly. That was the main game. But my dad used to cheat, so we didn't like to play no more. He used to hide the money. He always wanted to be the banker. You know, you got to watch him. So it wasn't fun at a certain time, but that was the game. You stole my question. I was going to ask, how do you cheat in Monopoly? Like, I could see maybe rigging the deck. Yeah, he, he used to like to be the banker and keep a little couple hundreds every time he passed go. So you have to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Defensively, where do you feel like your secondary is at heading into the fall? Uh, I feel like we're really we're heading at a great spot. I feel like all the young guys and the old guys that's coming back are really on the same page right now. Mm -hmm. um, the young guys are picking up the playbook, the playbook fast and um, learning real quick. So it's really good to see all all the guys really hustling and all all on the same page. I know you don't want to get get into any specifics, but when you talk about picking up the playbook, what types of things has Manny Diaz emphasized and some of the new ideas that he's brought that you've had to help had to have picked up here throughout the course of the fall and you know getting ready for the camp. Um, it wasn't really new, uh, any new ideas. It was just really rehashing all the old ones, just like hustling to the ball, being an aggressive player, and being physical. Those are the really, really the key things of being a great defense. And he really came here and really just reemphasized re that and um, got us going. So, yeah, shout out to the Manny. What have you liked about getting to know Manny? Because there's a process there. He's trying to get to know you guys as players, also how you are off the field. But what have you liked when you've gotten to know him more here throughout the last seven, eight months? Uh, Manny's a cool dude. Um, he's fun. He brings the energy every time. Uh, it's never a dull moment with him. So when he comes in the room, we know he's, he's bringing that juice and we got to match his energy. So, yeah, coach, coach came in with, with fire and we're picking it up. And you said one of the things that he's been impressed with throughout the course of the first four practices so far has been the defense's ability to create turnovers, get hands on balls, and try to make life difficult for the offense. How have you guys gone about doing that? What are some of the things that are emphasized on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, just poking the ball. You know, if you see somebody in the locker room with a football, punch it out. Just, get, just getting used to touching the ball every time. There shouldn't be a play or shouldn't be a series of you on the defense of the field and not touch the ball not once. And that's the thing he really been harping on us since the camp started, and it really shows so far. On our live stream here, we have people watching from across the country. What's your message to Penn State football fans? Why should they be optimistic about the team heading into the fall? Man, to the Penn State fans, y'all got, got a big season of waiting for y'all. We're going to bring the energy. We're going to bring the fans to come to the stadium, and we're going to show out for y'all. That's it. Joey, that's a great way to wrap it up. Thanks so much. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of your media day. Thank you. You too.